Hello fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and here are my thoughts on what rewrites I think could have saved the film Logan Lucky. Watch out, there are spoilers. So as I said in my review, Logan Lucky is a decent film due to its acting, direction, and cinematography, but it's in its story where it starts to unravel. Now let's be honest, as much as you don't want to compare a new movie to previous ones, it's a little hard not to do that with this movie, considering that the director of this movie is making a comeback and his biggest movie franchise was the Oceans trilogy, which falls under the same genre of comedy caper, but on top of it, in this movie, they directly reference Ocean, calling these characters the Ocean 7-Eleven. I think when a film directly compares itself to another film, you're allowed to do it as well. So back to the story, the first thing that I had an issue with were some unnecessary characters throughout the movie. Sebastian Stan and Seth MacFarlane's characters, as well as the NASCAR subplot, really didn't do anything for the storyline as a whole, so it just added filler that wasn't really needed. And on top of that, Hilary Swank's character is brought in way too late. For these characters to actually bring something to the story, they have to directly affect the heist or the actual people doing the heist. So let's see if we can try to keep them in. But the biggest issue to me is that there's not really any stakes involved with this heist. You don't need a life or death consequence as that's really overdone, but they just kind of decide to rob NASCAR because they're bored. Channing Tatum's character robs the Speedway not to help his daughter or because he was recently fired, but because he has the free time. What you need is a human antagonist, whether that's Hilary Swank's character coming in a bit sooner or having a different antagonist that's the head of the construction company or the Speedway, similar to Andy Garcia's character in the Oceans franchise. So here's a quick summary on how the new film would look with these couple changes. So more or less you'd have the same storyline with the same relationships, particularly the ones between Channing Tatum and his daughter and Channing Tatum and his brother. However, you have to change why they're doing it. Tatum gets let off because of liability reasons due to his bum knee, and then he just decides, well, I'm gonna rob the Speedway, when it's not really even the Speedway that's firing him, but it's the construction company that's been hired to do the job. So why not add a little bit in there? Add another character that's friends with Tatum that also gets let off, and what happens is they're letting off the locals so that the construction company can bring in their own guys and speed up the process so that all the sinkholes are filled before the big Coca-Cola 600. By doing this, you have a new antagonist character in either the construction company owner or the Speedway owner, and it gives Channing Tatum's character a reason to want to rob the Speedway. Tatum feels cheated out of his job, so he convinces his brother and his other fired friend to join him in this heist. In terms of Hilary Swank's character, she needs to come in much sooner, as the last 20 minutes did not give any tension whatsoever because we knew they got away with it. Even with her sitting there at the end, I just didn't care enough. So what I think is, they said in this movie that they switched the dates from one of the least busy days for this speedway to one of the most busy days. In fact, it's the biggest race that occurs at this speedway, the Coca-Cola 600. And yet throughout the entire movie, they only deal with two security guards after saying that this place has its own police force. Instead, she should be there merely by coincidence and stumbles upon clues that a heist is happening. What she should be there for is she's actually investigating Seth MacFarlane's character and his sketchy money laundering scheme that revolves around his alcohol, which he has brought Sebastian Stan into unknowingly. It allows her to be at the speedway while the heist is happening and keep those other two characters in the film. The film should end more or less the same with Tatum giving the majority of the money back, although in a more symbolic FU fashion. With these changes, I believe this film could have been a lot more entertaining and had a lot more tension during the actual heist rather than feeling like it was dragging on. Unnecessary characters would feel better utilized and the reasons behind the heist would seem more justified and allow us to invest more in these characters. Anyways, that's my rant on Logan Lucky and what rewrites I think could have saved the story. If you've seen Logan Lucky, what did you think of the story and what rewrites would you make to fix it? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you liked this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our Film Fanatic review where we discuss the film Logan Lucky. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, fanatics, keep it real.